inside my menu. Ah, it is a little brisk out. It is a little cold. It is, ah, yes, it is. Yes, indeed. This is another training Thursday, but not what you're thinking of. You're not going to be breaking out to a sweat today. This is more mental. This is more intellectual training. And it is the book review that I have spoken to you about before. Now, this might be a little awkward. <laughs> the simple fact that I made a video prior to doing this one right now that mentioned me doing a book review on this very subject. So if that video comes out and you, yeah, I got, I finished the book and got excited and wanted to put this out first because I feel that it's very important. This is a very important book. Um, and I've mentioned it before, so when the other video comes out and I you hear me speak on doing a book review, just understand what had happened. <laughs> that, um, yeah, I finished the book. I'm very excited about it. And the book is <laughs> I'm Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And this is, let me get it up there for y'all. Let's see if I can see it. Look, listen, and learn. Yes, yes. <laughs> A very, very important book. They should be teaching this shit in schools. There's a lot of stuff. I don't know if any of you follow investors or just business information and whatnot. There's a lot of concepts and things they should be teaching in schools, and they don't, and they don't for a reason. Um, but in its, base, in, in, in its basic form, because I'm not going to get into depth of this is a book review, not a book reading, I, I recommend all y'all go and purchase this book right now right now i've already got the, the the companion book following this um on order and there's some other books that i'm going to be reading and this book is just illuminating them it just breaks down finances it's basic things and the concept that he considered calls financial intelligence and it's just this stuff everyone should know even on this basic form you should know about finance you should know about marketing you should know about money how money works um basic forms of investing even on the, the lowest level letting your money work for you regardless of how much you have so you are not struggling you should not be struggling day to day you know the difference between assets and liability real assets and liability the three types of money you know there's uh what did what did he call it well basically it's the money you earn that you work for there's portfolio and then there's passive income. It's the three types of, of income. Um, how investing works, how the world of money and business works. Even if you agree or disagree, if you disagree on this certain, you can do something about it and do it your way and make it your own. There are some concepts, one or two concepts in here that I don't necessarily agree with, which is fine. I don't have to, um, but that means I can do it my way, make it my own and move forward from there. Um, but it just the thing this book just simplifies everything and it's just a page turner you, you I you won't want to put this book down <clears throat> everything in here basically is applicable just it gives you a different way of thinking different way of looking at things and being able to spot opportunities that you can capitalize on capitalize doesn't mean being unfair stepping on someone in order to, in order to get ahead that's not what we're talking about. So that even in this basic form, if you just have your basic household budget, using what you have to not struggle, using what you have to benefit and develop assets. Start your own business if you want. You know, working is not a bad thing and this does highlight that. But you should know you're working hard, you work hard for your money, you should know what to do with it, you should know what to do with it. You should know what to do with it. You should know how money works and how to make your money work for you in the long run. Thinking five, 10, 15 years down the road, how to avoid, and especially how to avoid a lot of the financial, even on these basic forms, financial pitfalls that people find themselves in. So, Amazing, amazing, amazing book. I can't speak on enough. I have one regret that I have. I did not pick this up earlier and read it. Or even when um, I met, you know, Brother Mike, Mike Carhole recommended this book to me a while ago and it 
and I put it off. I ordered it right away, but I put it off and put it off and put it off and didn't read it right away. And I'm kicking myself. I should have been read this. You should be teaching this stuff in school. And I will be making my children read this book and be teaching them along the way. You know, just the basic concepts of things. You should always be learning. I've told you to mention this before. Always learn. It's always something to learn. You know, I luckily went to a very good school where we had so con there was a class called Independent Living that literally taught you everything you need to know but to live on your own. Making a budget, how to cook, how to take care of yourself, washing your fucking ass. <laughs> Things like that. Um, so I've, I was been good with finances and budget from very early, early on. And I could stretch a dollar. Lady hell, got them alarms. <laughs> so I could stretch a dollar like no other. But there's thriving and working your way towards financial freedom. And then there's just surviving. A lot of far too many of us just financially survive. We live day to day, we live week to week, month to month, paycheck to paycheck, and it doesn't have to be that way. <clears throat> and you don't have to start four to five hundred business for it for that. You can go as far as you want, or you can do the bare minimum, but it's just the fact of avoiding those traps and avoiding those pitfalls. And that all starts with learning. It all starts with education, learning. You don't know what you don't know, so you should be studying, even just a little bit each day. So when you go to get a loan or you go to put your money to use and you know, buy actual assets, real assets, you know better. So, but yeah, that's uh, that's what I have for this. this. is an amazing book. Pick it up, Amazon, even wherever. I order mine on Amazon. I'm sure probably Barnes and Nobles probably has it as well. But pick it up. They actually have he, this man, and I'm going to try my best not to butcher his name, but it's Robert T. Kiyosaki. So, Robert T. Kiyosaki. He got his board games called cash flow that helps you learn um, and teaches you the concepts. So I plan on getting those and we'll do a review on those as well. Um, they got a basic game and an advanced game. And there's one online that you can play just kind of like, you know, to get, get the gist of it. Um, so yeah, I plan on getting those games and we'll do a review on those as well. So pick this up. I'm not endorsed by this man. I'm not endorsed by the publisher. I got nothing to gain by sharing this with you other than I want to share this with you. So I'm not getting paid. There's no endorsements or anything like that. This is an amazing book. As you know, any, any of you who have followed me for any, any of your period of time will know if I find a good product, I'm going to share it with you. I think we all should be doing that. See the goods and the bads. So I think this is a very beneficial book. This is just me talking. This is my opinion. Um, but even some of the concepts in here, I already started applying beforehand. So it's legit. Like, I like one thing I will share with you is I've started investing in precious metals. So there's things that don't depreciate. So that's just a shh, don't tell nobody. But little investments here and there on different things. And then hopefully I will roll that into bigger and bigger investments and bigger opportunities and bigger deals. Um, but you know, like anything else, baby steps, baby steps, you know, start slow, start small. Every Fortune 500 company, every business for the most part, started out small. You usually typically start out in their garage and they worked it and worked it and developed bigger. So start small, work your way up. It's that simple. Like anything else, even with fitness or anything else that I've talked to you about, start small, work your way up. It's okay. I used to work security for this company called Genoptics. The lady who owned Genoptics before she, you know, and she made turn went public and all that. And she literally started in her garage doing, doing what they do. And when I got on to, when I got hired on working security, they had three buildings, full size, like multi-story buildings. And then by the time I left there, um, they had five or six. So, start out of her garage. So, anyways, yes, get this book. Amazing, amazing, amazing. 
If any of you have read it already, share in the comments below your opinions on it, your thoughts. We can discuss it um, and then also read it and we can discuss it further. Um, you know, let me know in the comments below. Hey, you read it. You would like a debate live, debate live, talk live, whatever about it. I'm OK. We can set that up so anyway. But oh my goodness. All right. But thank you for joining Nemesis Group. I greatly appreciate it. Education, financial education. <laughs> like, please like and subscribe, like and subscribe, like and subscribe. As always, have a good one.